Hi friends, Dara here. Um, in the last vlog, I think I was talking to you about how I was violently assaulted by our capitalist system. And I promised you change. Well, here it is. This morning I met with Sandra, Oshin and the man himself in coffee roasters. We had a few flat whites and I would say about a, a dozen rollies apiece. And we decided it's time. It's time for the workers to unite and stand up against their tyrannical overlords. Um, it's time for us to stop filling the pockets of the 1% because frankly, man, I just can't do it any longer. You know, uh, step one of our manifesto is move out. Uh, property is theft and our landlord has been exploiting us for too long now. Uh, our lease is up in two weeks and guess what? We've decided not to renew it. Tough luck. But dear man, where are you going to live, man? I hear you shout from the rooftops. Well, relax, man, because we've got it sorted. Sandra's uncle actually owns a fairly sizable farm near Carrigan Line, I think it is, or Carrig Navarre. We need to just double check that. And he has offered to contribute to the cause by giving us one hectare of his land. Now, none of us know exactly how big that is, but it sounds like quite a lot. Not only that, but there's also a dilapidated farmhouse on site, which I know is going to be more than big enough for all of us and anybody else who decides to join the cause. Now, there's no power or running water or electricity or anything like that, but that's no match for a revolutionary spirit. Step two is kind of a controversial one, and that is no more dole. Uh, there was an argument this morning about this because someone said that apparently all Marxist utopias need a little bit of cash at the very beginning to kind of get them off their feet, but uh, I'm actually supremely confident. All right, there'll be fewer boxes of amber leaf and we'll need to go easy on the craft IPAs, but what is a revolution without sacrifice? Do you know what I mean? Um, but darn man, how are you going to feed yourselves with no cash in your pockets, I hear you ask? Well, we don't need the Kiko op, you know? We don't need Cafe Paradiso, and we definitely don't need the Rocker Man, because we have these hands, yeah? Human hands. We're going to live off the land. We're going to grow everything that we need to eat and drink ourselves, from the sesame seeds in our tahini, to the avocados in our guac, to the olives in our tapenade, to the quinoa in our, in our quinoa. We've also acquired the services of one goat and one chicken, and they're gonna provide us with all the eggs and the milk we need to supplement our vegan diet. But dar man, what about when the colds of winter come and you're out in the freezing rain and the snow, I hear you ask? Well, first of all, I would say go easy on the questions, man, because they're starting to get a little bit annoying. And second of all, I would say, you ever heard of hemp? Uh, yeah, or flax? I don't know what the difference is, but combine them with our goat's wool and we're going to be able to make literally anything that we need to make. So to all you vintage clothing shops and retro stores, I would say get back into bed with the devil and flog off. Guys, stay tuned for the next installment. Peace out.